knickknackers. Well, I guess it's almost afternoon. It's almost noon. Um, so my father-in-law, Gary Stonemetz, uh, sent the kids home one day with a great big box of pears out of his orchard. So um, I'm going to show you today how I can those pears. So first thing I'm going to do is I have them um, just rinsing in some cold water. Um, they are organic, but um, I still rinse everything off. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel these bad boys. I'm going to save all the peels for the chickens. Um, some people, I don't know if you can do this with pears, but I know you can with apples. They save the peelings and they make apple jelly out of the peelings. I can't remember if I've tried that or not or if I just juiced some apples and made jelly from that, but regardless, that's an option and since these are organic, that would be great to do. Um, I forgot a knife. Let me grab one real quick. So I'm just going to cut this pear in. <laughs> I'm just going to cut this pear in half. Hopefully I can do it without cutting myself or losing it to the floor for the 15th time. And then um, I've actually never used this pear, uh, a core, but I'm gonna try it out today. And that actually works really, really well. And you can kind of see that line down there. Um, I have always used a little cookie cutter, but I'm gonna try the core. And that works out pretty darn good. Just take all that out. Take that end off, and there you go. Nice, beautiful pear half. So some people will can with their pears in halves. I actually prefer to cut my pears and my peaches up. It's personal preference. It's not going to change any processing times or anything like that. So I'm going to continue cutting these all up and filling my pot. As I get a few more pears in there, I will... Um, just sprinkle some lemon juice over the top to keep them hopefully from turning brown um, And that's it when I have a full pot or when all of these are done whichever ones come first I will bring you back and we'll move on from there It is um, as I was cutting up the pears. I put them in this pot with uh, measured out water I would put in uh, two pints of water and then some lemon juice to keep the pears from browning. So I put in about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints, which comes to about 16 cups of water. And so I'm going to do about a medium syrup in there. So for 16 cups of water, I'm going to add eight cups of sugar. So one, oops, sorry, I'm kind of trying to do this one handed. So I'm going to stir that up and get that to um, a simmer and then we will hot pack these which uh, I will tell you now I have actually never hot packed any of my fruit I normally cold pack them but I was reading the other day that if you hot pack your fruit you actually get a better um, product in the end in the way that it looks in your jars so I'm gonna try it and we'll see if I like how it looks in the jars better hot packing I'll bring you back when I'm jarring them up all right, so our pears have been heating up for, it's been longer than five minutes. I had it on um, medium low and they've been probably cooking for about 20 minutes, half an hour or so. So they're nice and hot. I have my jars that I washed in the dishwasher. They're nice and clean and warm. I'm going to 
pack these. And I'll need to look at my book again. I think it's to within a half inch, but I'll double check and make sure. I did end up looking in the fall blue book. It might have been a different one of the canning books, but anyway, for the uh, syrup. And for a medium syrup, I needed to add um, three more cups of sugar. That's a lot of sugar, but that's going to keep your fruit from tasting flat when you're eating it later. If you just do it in plain water, a lot of that, the sugars will leach out into the water instead of staying with your fruit where you want it. So before I do that, I'm going to double check and make sure I want it to a half inch. And it is half an inch. And those will debubble. my lids over here getting nice and warm have some vinegar in that water and my camera's been over here heating up finish getting these jars filled and I'll bring you back when the canner is full. All right, so I have the last jar here. There are dog back there. Give you a little close up of those pears. Get those in the canner and we are going to pressure or not pressure boil water bath them for quart jars for 25 minutes add another five for the altitude so I'll bring you back in half an hour after the water starts to boil all right so they have canned for 30 minutes and then I left the lid on for 10 minutes, took the lid off, and now I'm taking them out. I'll show you guys what they look like. There we go. They actually look really good. I think the hot packing really did make a difference in um, how much floating I got. There's there's really not much floating at all. You can kind of see a little bit down here at the bottom, but normally I have quite a bit more floating than that. So I'll get these out and I'll let these set for 24 hours and then I'll wash them, take the rings off and put them on my shelves. And we'll have pears. Not for very long, because there's only seven jars here, but that's better than letting all of them go bad. I have a little bit more left on the counter that I'm working on. Don't, not sure how many jars that'll give me. Probably just like three more, so it's not a ton. I'll bring you over and... There we go. Oops, sorry, I have you on the uh, 
tripod. I don't really know how I'm working that. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys. I had um, quite a bit of the um, syrup left over, and there was probably about a third of a quart jar of pears. So I just took my immersion blender and blended it all up and made pear juice. And I can that up and I'm putting it in with the rest of um, the pears so there's five jars of pears in there and there's going to be two jars of the juice and then I haven't made up my mind yet whether I'll can this up um, tonight or um, just put it in the fridge and we can drink it so I'll make it up my mind later and anyway just thought I'd share so now I'm taking out that pear juice thought I'd just share that with you guys you can see that there's that little line right there from the syrup and the um, pieces of pear that are in there, but that'll uh, shake up nicely and it'll be delicious to drink. I'll take out a jar of these pears. We'll see if these ones have as little floating as the last set, and it looks like they do. So that's fantastic. I might be a convert to this um, hot water packing instead of the cold packing. All right, well, I uh, probably am not gonna can that tonight because just got out of the shower, it's about 8.30 and I have to work tomorrow. So um, I'll be heading off to bed here pretty quick. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I'll see you with the next canning video. Bye-bye.